Okay, let's go ahead and call a spade a spade, shall we? The Jack Kusar is a dildo. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, how fucking funny! Saying a weapon looks like a penis. How fucking original! We need more of that. But no, this isn't me dropping the Rob standards here. This is just me being real. I'm fairly certain that Mr. Silverbones knew what he was doing, but hey, I'm no artist. So, what do I know? Anywho, Bad Dragon here is a bit of a paradox of a weapon. Despite having no physical damage whatsoever, and having a blade made of literal fire, it has jack shit for status. I'm, I'm guessing when DE selected this weapon to win the fan contest, they remembered that the status variant of the chain blades was the Lacera, and then they were like, well damn, we can't exactly go back and pick another one. What do we do now? Ah, uh, just throw a bunch of crit on it. Kids like that these days, right? And thus, we got a blade and whip weapon that visually makes no sense for what it does mechanically. But, that doesn't mean I don't like it. Despite having very pathetic status and no physical damage to speak of, this thing can still force proc slash via the Defile Snapdragon attacks. And, because this thing can reach red crits with very little effort, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a, t it's just a tad, a tad strong. Though there's no telling if and when DE is going to plant a no fun allowed sign and decide to take that ability away from us. So use it while you can, I guess. Moving on, the wielded charge attack really isn't much to write home about. It doesn't do much damage and it doesn't have much utility. Sure, it can cause a radial knockdown, but you could also just do this. Seriously, by the time you got your charge attack out, you'd already be slamming into the ground anyways, and it won't sometimes decide to do jack diddly squat like the whip explosion. I feel like this thing would have worked better if it created a cloud that had a 100% chance of proccing whatever elemental type you had the weapon set to each tick, rather than just a knockdown effect, which is something every melee weapon has access to. Overall, though, it's a solid chain blade, and I believe it has the best damage output of them all right now if we're not factoring in Rivens. Simply because with the forced bleed procs and without Rivens, it can reach red crits in a much more realistic span of time compared to the Mios, and especially compared to the Lacera. Though, with all that said, I still prefer the Mios. A, because it doesn't look like something the Grenier Queens would keep in their drawer. And thus, it keeps certain mental images at bay. <laughs> and B, the Jet Kusar can't slingshot enemies around like this. 